come and tell you reply 65, 65 law, 70, 70 law. Okay, challenge is to help people to pass a financial freedom and early age. You can retire at 35 right now. Anyone you like to retire at 35? I wish I can. Okay. But unfortunately I'm 55, so I decided to retire at 55. What triggers retirement planning? Okay, based on research, assuming financial freedom is the number one. Once you're financially free, you can retire. And then you do whatever you like to do. Taking, taking you up music, taking up this, taking that, or helping people do charity work. Okay. Second birthday. So some people use a birthday as the mark. Like for my case, 55, okay. Uh, time to retire. Some people say 65, some say 70, or illness. I could retire because of my cancer, but fortunately, after I got my cancer, I don't listen to the doctors. Okay, the doctor told me it's six months. So I become my own doctor. Okay, I give myself another 30 years. Right. Death of a family members or friends, sometimes they can trigger off retirement, especially let's say on a spouse case, because relationship is very close. Right? Or sometimes it's nothing happening. Okay, we faster. We have problem resolution. Okay. Our government normally don't like to intervene. Okay, because I see various committee often time we ask, we see the government official, can you do something for the industry? They say no. In this case, when they do something, is there's a serious need. So they actually increase the age, right? It's now compulsory, right? By 1st of January 2012, employees are required by law to offer re-employment to workers reaching age 62 and to work to 65 and eventually to 67, okay? Right. Our government is a fantastic government. I'm not pro PAP, by the way, but I've traveled around the world. I've thought of migrating many, many times. Got the offer, but never took it up. Because overall, oh, I think we are still the best. It's not a perfect place. Our government do, do a lot of okay. So when they do something, there's a reason behind it, like minimum sum. How many of us like to have our minimum sum raised? I think none of us like it. But we know that it's necessary. Even the minimum sum is not sufficient. So the government has to balance. Okay. So I need a fact of retirement. Quick one. Okay. A lot of us rely on good investment. Okay. My point is, inflation can grow a lot, many of it. Often times, we need money not because we are smart, because everybody needs money. And then when people lose money, all of us also lose money. Okay, I did my PhD in finance. Also, before that, I do a lot of investment for myself as well as for companies. Okay. My own take is, don't rely too much. Coming back to basic finance, one one. Okay. Diversify investment and then leave the money there. You try to make money, buy, sell, buy, sell, but people are not most of it. Workers. Okay. Average investment return all this is take it in a pinch of salt. Okay. I can retire if I have children. If there is the case, you don't have more than 7,000 people know so. Right. CPF is enough. Okay. Uh, just now, this year went through the CPF life. They did a fantastic job. Okay. To me, that is only give you basic retirement needs. I say I don't want a basic retirement needs. If I'm contented, like every day I walk past, I see people, okay, hang the bird cage out there, and then out there and look at them, and enjoy, or sitting under the tree, playing chess. You like that kind of retirement, I think your basic life, CPF life is more than enough. Okay? But you want something more than that, I think you need to do something. Okay, this is just a quick survey, all right? MS did a survey in 205. Okay? Even the recent survey basically said the same thing. 40% think. CPF is sufficient. What you think may not be what is true. Okay? The fact is CPF only provides one quarter of the funds you need. And 77% of people actually invested a lot of CPF in property. So what is left? Not much. Okay. A similar survey was done by OCPC Bank, average of 60,000. I think the figure have not gone up very much, even in recent times. In other words, it's very insufficient, especially if you take the translation when you live for another 20 to 25 years. Okay, so the gap is very, very significant. So one in two will outlive the CPF. You're going to live for 20 more years after retirement. You retire 65, you live up to 85, up to 20 years. And uh, do you want to be the first person when you retire, just sit in a rocking chair, or have one extra leg? Or you want to be the last person there, really enjoying life, 
Fairy Mount and all happy people. To me, I'd rather choose the last person. And to do that, of course, you have to plan for it. Okay, good retirement planning basically requires sufficient cash. Without money, a lot of things cannot be done. That's ideal retirement. So isn't it nice? The two old folks still traveling around the world, dancing, okay? Young girls are better prepared. Unfortunately, I think it's not true. In fact, the younger ones are in a more vulnerable condition. Okay, life is getting tougher and tougher. Okay, because no more pension, no more this, no more that. You need to save as much as your parents in the past. Answer is not true. You have to save even more. Okay. In the past, your pension and okay, healthcare cost is much lower and the investment return are much higher. Okay. Rely on a house. Okay, most of us are 